Hidden at FBA TV. And what we're going to do today is go over your net profit and uh, uh, ROI profit tracking using Sellerboard, exactly how I do it. So let's dive into this. So the first thing you'll notice up here is the four different bars here. So as you can see, <coughs> We've got the uh, today, yesterday, month today, this month forecast. Um, so what that does is gives you a really, really nice breakdown of exactly what you're expecting, what the month is today, the yesterday and today. Um, not only does it show it up here very clearly, your net profit, estimated payout, um, net profit, etc. there, sales, etc. If you click on the more button there, it will actually show you a very clear breakdown of exactly where your money is going if you're expecting more profit um, or less profit, for example. Um, so as you can see, it literally takes off everything, the shipping cost there, gives you an exact profit of what you're what you're actually making if you've entered your cost of goods in properly so we've got the advertising cost here even breaks down different marketplaces if you're using them which is phenomenal got the amazon fees there storage fees etc refund costs so guys this literally takes into account everything and also your vat if you gives you the roi and the margin exact breakdown there so it's a very handy tool you can also do that with a whole month so it'll tell you your whole month's margin there. This account's not looking very healthy, is it? <laughs> this demo account here. Um, and not only that, if you come down to the products down here, you can actually see per item, you can click more info, and then it will also show you a very detailed outline of every individual product. And for example, if you can spot any that aren't doing very well like this, minus 50 pounds, 42 pence, that was only yesterday, guys. So that was not for the whole month, that's just for yesterday. Um, then you can click as into why. And as you can see, the shipping there was £77.50 yesterday. That's shipping UPS boxes or whatever your courier is into Amazon. So that doesn't mean that product's necessarily bad, it just means yesterday they were shipping items in. So this literally does take into account everything. And when you click on any, any one of these bars, it shows you the products that sold to make up that total of that day, that sales, if that makes sense. So, for example, the jewellery packaging gift box sold the most, followed by the jewellery cardboard gift box. And then as we go down, it will show all of your products uh, and right down to the ones that haven't sold anything. So then you can really, really daily or weekly just track how your sales are going or also on a month to date basis as you can see this is clearly the best seller in this store followed by this one as third and that one as second but yesterday it looked like that colton box didn't sell as well as you can see only sold three but if we look at on a month to day it looks like it's the second best seller so if that was me i would have gone is that is that on an average is that okay that it only sold three and then you can just sort of guess you can just sort of see what's going on there um so yeah really really handy tool in that sense so moving on a little bit down here, if we go to inventory there, what we can also do is look at the cost of goods, the potential sales and potential profit. And as Amazon sellers, as you all know, I'm sure watching this, if you're Amazon sellers, current, previous or um, newbie, you'll know that sometimes you think, where the hell's all my money? Because this is a very stock intensive business. You think, where the hell's my money? Um, if you can see it there with the cost of goods, the potential sales and the potential profit, the cost of goods there is exactly what your product, what your um, uh, stock is actually worth before it's sold. So it may be worth this if it sells but before that you have to go buy the cost of goods because that's what you've paid for it that's what it's worth so sometimes it's good just to rather than going crazy wondering where your money is you can come and look at this saying the cost of goods that's where all my money is obviously it's not going to take into account any products on your way to a prep center um but it just gives you a better idea okay that along with your amazon balance and your um uh bank account for example so looking down here, what you can also do is track the days less you've got a stock. And for example, if you wanted to restock this as soon as it goes below 50, then you can come back and check this. Uh, and depending on how many days you know it takes to get back in stock, this is quite good to track, especially your good sellers. Just bear in mind, it's not going to track the really, really uh, fast uh, seasonal products. For example, Valentine's Day coming up. If you had a hot teddy bear and you knew that sold thousands in Valentine's Day, this isn't going to tell you that. You know, this is going to be really good for regular products that just sell all year round the same amount then you can know that you can use this to restock it. But if you've got the really seasonal products, obviously there's a bit of human interaction there that's going to need to um, sort of get involved. So days left of stock, that days days until next order zero. So it's saying this is like an emergency. You need to reorder that now. It just flags that up for you. So once again, helps you track your profit and net profit. Also, by making sure that you secure that by reordering when you should. <coughs> so that's really good. 
clicking on the products here just to make sure we're tracking net profit and margins properly um, you've also got individual products here and it got the cost of goods there and you can do it by period or by batch so some softwares that I've used in the past only let you do a one cost of good price throughout the board but for example if you're supplier changed its cost of good in the last month but you've had it at a different lower price for the last year you don't want to change that because that's going to change the projections you've made for the last year isn't it but you want to change it by batch you can click on that and change it by batch by a certain date and then everything after that date will be a new cost of good so that's a really, really handy thing that hasn't always been in this software or any software. Um, you can also put the VAT rate in there just to make sure that you know, you're know you getting the correct profits related. You also got the expensive ta expenses tabs here. So like even down to photo shooting, accounting software, tax consultant, warehouse, all of them can go in here. And then that will come off your net profit every single month so that you know exactly, exactly the date it comes off, the amount, etc. Is it a one time? Is it a monthly, etc.? Then you can track exactly how much you're making. Now, also, you've also got all this stuff which I went in the last video. Go back and look at that how to get refunds and reimbursements using Sellerboard for Amazon sellers. I actually, I've literally got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and hundreds of pounds back in the last, well, my VA has for me in the last uh, two or three weeks just by utilizing Sellerboard to go back and get all them reports. So, yeah, it's worth getting it just for that alone anyway. So, if you want a two month, two Two month free trial for Sellerboard. Go use it. Go get your claim. Get, go get your reimbursements back and start tracking your net profit and margin correctly with this fantastic software. I will see you in the next video. You watched FBA TV with Hayden.